If a person decides that we want to be here a kingdom builder say, I don't know how I reach us up. And I am going to leave, but I'm not going to leave in good grace. They are going to try to take one third of the congregation with them. And if you are not smart, if your spiritual eyes and your spiritual ears and your discernment is not right, you will be gone. And before too long, it will be too late. This is empowerment for the church. The songwriter says that there's a harmony rising up. And this harmony is rising up, is rising up to break every chain. All sort of chains. Spiritual chains. To break down spiritual wickedness in high places. The army, we are the soldiers of that army. And if we are not well equipped, if we are not alert, if we are not aware of what is happening around, around us, then we will go down. If we are going to be soldiers, we have to be vigilant. If we are going to be soldiers for the Lord, any at all, where we, are, where we can break chains, we have to be strong. We have to be well equipped. Equipped with what? The Word. The Word. So I'm saying to us this morning, for us to go, for us to be soldiers of the Lord, for us to be, for us to rise up in the in, with the power that God really wants us to rise up with, we have to have the word in us. And many of us don't have the word in us because we don't read our Bibles until we come to church on Sunday. We have no time. So the time when we pick up the Bibles on Sunday, so we just lick it two time and bust it us off and we are here. And we turn to the scripture that they have so to turn to and back and we not take up when we reach or put it down, we not take up again until Sunday. That's not good enough. That's not good enough. If we are going to be soldiers, we have to have empowerment. And the word is what is going to allow us to break chains. That's what is going to allow us to help us to break the chains. Because there's so many things that live in a time that there's so much chains that need to be broken. And we cannot keep running to pastors and evangelists and, 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 and look for the thing that that person spending time with God and that person spending time in the world. So I'm going to run to them. If soldiers have to run to the, the, the lieutenants and the, 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 the brigadiers and the, that, if they, if they are going to be trained, they are going to be in the army. But when when, when something turns up, when a fight is on, when there's something for them to go for, they're going to, they're going to run to the bigger heads. What's the sense you being a soldier? What's the sense we being in the army of God if we are not well equipped? What's the sense if we are going to be in the army of God if we are, if we are going to allow the enemy to come against us and defeat us? It makes no sense. We have to be strong. And for us to be strong, we have to spend time in the Word of God. And not only that we have to spend time in the Word of God, reading the Word of God, we must read the Word of God, but we must also be doers of the Word. What is the Word saying to me as an individual? We have to be doers of the word. We have to be obedient to the word of God. Because the word, if the word of God itself tells us that obedience brings the blessing. And disobedience brings curse. And many of us, we will take the Bible up and read it because we know one, we feel like every most of us will not take up the Bible and not read in the Bible. But we take up and read two or three passages, but sometimes we don't understand a word that it is saying to us, one. Two, we, we understand what it is saying, but we are not putting what it's saying into practice. I 
But if we continue like this, we will never be able to break chains. We'll only sing the song, but we'll never, and we, and we claim that we are children of God in the army of God, but we'll never be able to break chains.